Hello, I'm here with Robel, who's the site manager for Boyd. Robel, can you tell me why you're using such big shuttering sections to do this sports hall? Well, as you know, as you can see uh, Buig, uh, on Big site, what we have at the moment is a school. It's a live school. So the only way that we can achieve the program on site is uh, using the special shuttering system that we have, uh, as you can see on site. So the uh, way that we can do it is, is by using this uh, full height wall shuttering system instead of a sequenced shuttering system on site. Is that because the school is so close to the existing school? Yes, uh, as you saw earlier on, uh, we have uh, the gap between the existing and the site that we are building is about a metre and a half away, so because of the proximity and the neighbours as well, the other side of the building, so we, we had to use this kind of system. Is it quicker to build using this system? Uh, yes, it is, and as, you, uh, as I explained before earlier on, is uh, doing this way, we have kind of reduced the programme by, uh, by half. I see. Yes. Do you use a special source of shuttering? Yes, we do use a special shuttering system, which is uh, used uh, within Buig uh, Group internationally. Uh, for this purpose, we had to adapt to suit for the sports hall, which is kind of the 10 meter uh, 40 at the moment. Yes, we have. And when you're building this, the, the sports hall with this system, are there any special things you have to do compared to when you do it conventionally? Uh, for, uh, for this project, uh, yes, we had to do a, a, quite a lot of uh, preparation. Uh, there is obviously the planning for the way that we do it, uh, consider the school, the program, the method of lifting, uh, organization of, with various trays for the mechanical, electrical, uh, the architectural. So all this has to be considered before we actually start on site. I see. And how long does it take to do each section? For, uh, for this one, we have planned it two days where you start the first skin on the first day, uh, put the, shutter, the steel work on the second day, and then by second day, uh, midday, you, you close the shutter and we pour the concrete. By the end of the second day, the concrete pour is finished. I see. And how many days to build the whole sports hall? Uh, we have programmed it, uh, the sequ sequence, in two, day, two days format, so we have said 11 sequences. So within 22 days we have finished, uh, we'll finish the works. I see. And when you're pouring such big sections, do you need special concrete? Yes, of course, uh, it has to be specially designed. For example, there is, uh, of course, the, we have to consider the hydro hydrostatic pressure on the shuttering system. So it has to be planned and uh, designed to suit to this uh, activity that we're doing on site, yes. And do you use self-compacting concrete or can you vibrate the concrete conventionally? Uh, for this one, we have uh, used the traditional concrete with vibration. Uh, we have considered using the self-compacting, but uh, we plan to use this, this system, yes. I see. And when you strike the shuttering after the concrete's been poured, is that it or do you have to do anything else to it? Um, uh, you will not, we will not do, do any, act, any uh, finishing or anything once you release the shutter. All you have to do is just uh, brace it and pr prop it for the wall until we do the final roof, uh, uh, steel work on the roof. I see, that's the next stage. That's the, the next stage work. activity, yeah. yes. Right. And, and this is 10.4 metres high, but how high could you go with this system? Typically, uh, in the group, uh, in, in other configuration internationally, uh, we can get... Uh, easily up to 16 or 18 meter high. But again, our idea here is to use our standard equipment, so without modifying the structure of it. Therefore, uh, with this one, you could get to 15 meter, and, uh, and that's about the, the limit, yes. Yeah. And do you have to, I mean, to do this technique here in the UK? Is there something, anything special you have to do that you wouldn't have to do abroad? Uh, yes, first of all, it was with a consultant, because they were not... Uh, necessarily uh, well informed of this methodology so we have to bring our experience and uh, our documentation to explain them the process and together to make it work as per the British standard in terms of structural design so in that way yes we had, uh, we had to work on, on this with also the concrete supplier to explain uh, our requirements with regard to the, to, to the supply. And now you've done this job successfully, how high will you go next time? <laughs> uh, I would say it depends on the job and the challenge that comes, but uh, I think we could, uh, we could reasonably get, uh, get five metres or more uh, on the next one uh, should, should we have the opportunity. 
and maybe a bit more of uh, architectural challenges with uh, some patterns as we did in the past on Bremer School. So there's uh, still a lot we can do to, to, to improve the, the, the challenges, yes.